Good morning, everybody. It's been a pretty stressful morning so far. Val, um, I didn't wake Val up. She was uh, still having her issues, so I just um, got in the truck, take off to my job, and uh, ran into all kinds of problems right off the bat. Uh, went to the gas station because I was completely empty. Um, checked on my account, which I have to do every morning, and uh, I was, yesterday I had $40, I was going to put $25 in the ca gas, uh, this morning I had a negative 106, something came out yesterday that knocked us out, so now I have no money to buy gas, so I had to go quickly run over to my mother's house to get enough money for gas. And um, go get some gas at another gas station and all of this ended up taking me an extra half hour um, which is I'm kind of on a tight schedule right now I I only have until around 430 with the rental that I have <clears throat> so it takes me an hour maybe a little more to get to, to uh, the house uh, so that'll give me about four hours to get all the junk out into my truck to uh, pressure wash the driveway, figure out how to get the pressure washer back into the truck with all the junk in my truck, and uh, go home and uh, drop off the um, pressure washer. If I don't get it there by around 4.30, it's gonna cost me an extra $50. So there goes almost half of my profit <clears throat> uh, from, from this job. So, yeah, and now I'm, I'm in traffic, as always, because I'm going into L.A., and uh, I run into all kinds of issues similar to this. Anytime I go into L.A., usually I like to take off after 10, because that's when the traffic eases up. But I was trying to get there earlier, so I left around 9, and it's already 10.30, so... Yeah, so I'm not going to get there until 11, and I'm just going to have to hustle from there. Alright, so I've already hit traffic, and I'm not even to the main westbound freeways yet. Uh, my ETA has just gotten uh, 20 minutes longer, so not a good sign. So I am almost there. My biggest fear is that there's more stuff all the way than I have room in my truck. So let's take a look. And I'm gonna have to say yes. All right, so there is a lot of stuff here. And um, some of it I'm hoping to get just put into the trash cans. Because um, I can't do all of that, but I could probably get some of it. Because I'm not gonna be able to get all this into the back of my truck. I'm hoping, it looks like I'm gonna end up having to um, do a second trip. Now, I, I would be nice if I could load it, take it to the dump, load it, take it to the dump. I don't have the money. It cost, it'll cost about $20, $30. I don't have it. I was just going to take it all home and then uh, deal with it when I have time. So, but it's odd being here. It's funny to have the door open and, and just uh, not have Kenobi and Thor and I do have the crows. So, place looks pretty good except for the junk out front. Okay, this is gonna be a lot more work than I expected. I was, now I'm hoping Dave was with me. I got a lot into the truck already. 
Um, I want to get this piece of rug in there as well. Closest dump uh, is going to charge me about $45. And uh, that, and I don't know if it's just for the truckload or if they'll let me come in a couple of loads. I'll have to see when I get there because I only have $60 left in my account. So if I can do this right away, I will be able to put the rest of it in the garage, uh, do the uh, uh, water pressure job, and, uh, and I'll have to come back and uh, get the rest. Okay, so I have a full load right now. It's full, so full that I can feel the car tilting back. Um, and I found a landfill that, according to this, is should be only four miles away. It's nine minutes away. And they said that it's going to be about $45 a ton. So we'll have to see whether I'm, this is going to be my one and only load that I can do because I don't have the money. All right, so that cost me $50. So I definitely will not be able to do that again. All right, so this is the rug that used to be in their living room. And it's been out here in the rain. And I can't move it. And that's a big problem. Now the best I can do is I'm gonna try and push it off to the side so I can finish doing the uh, power wash. And there's everything that I still have going on. But uh, I gotta get this thing back to Home Depot. Exhausted. It is 3:43 right now, and um, according to my GPS, my ETA to get home is going to be 4:46. So it's going to be over an hour in this traffic, and it, so that looks like it means uh, I'm going to have to pay for another day for this rental. So... Alright everybody, so I finally got home. I'm exhausted, very tired. Um, I did get the, uh, the pressure washer back to Home Depot. I was eight minutes late and uh, he was kind enough to give me a break so still ended up costing over ninety dollars to rent that uh, pressure washer and uh, that kind of makes it not worth doing that as a job unless I can get a hold of a pressure washer so and because of the traffic it cost about twenty dollars in gas to drive and um, so, until you have to go back again tomorrow, I'm going to knock it all down and put it all in the back, what's left in the back of my truck, and it's coming home with me because um, I can't make another trip to the, the dump. Uh, when I got home, uh, Val is still not feeling well. She's very depressed about it. She's not happy. 
Uh, she's still spending a lot of her, time, of her time asleep and she's hating that as well so so I'm not gonna bother her or Angel for the closer so it's just me and uh, and Bones over here so if you liked anything in this video give us a thumbs up don't forget to share it. and uh, don't of course don't forget to subscribe and I will see you back over there tomorrow bye